Hey guys, uh, my name is Rich and I'm from Bench Tech UK. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our first video unboxing. Um, this is the Foxconn Blood Rage. Uh, it's an Intel i, uh, an Intel X58 chipset motherboard, um, brand new from from Foxconn. Uh, this is, uh, as it says on the front here, engineered for Core i7 and i7 Extreme processors. Um, and uh, let's have a look at it. Firstly, a little bit about Benchtech. We're a, a bunch of extreme overclocking uh, enthusiasts. Uh, we're not really interested in that whole 24-hour uh, stability testing side of things. We're more interested in the extreme um, on the edge side of things. So we'll uh, we'll be looking at things like 3D Mark, Super PI, and W Prime more than uh, uh, more than testing 15 games with this motherboard. Um, but yeah, that, that's us. Um, if you want any more information about us, come and have a look at the forums. Uh, that's on www.benchtech.co.uk. There's a, a link in the more info in the description on the video here. So uh, come and check us out if you want. Right, let's have a look at the motherboard. Um, here we have it, Foxconn Blood Rage. A um, little view of the motherboard there. And uh, the two cooling options we have for the chipset here. Um, I'll go into those in a little more detail. First, let's have a let's have a look. As I've said, this is uh, an Intel X58 motherboard, um, newest chipset that you've got. Um, supports SLI and Crossfire, um, which is much better than having to pick an Nvidia chipset for SLI or an Intel chipset for Crossfire. Here are the two cooling options. First one here is a water block, pretty straightforward. I hope that's focusing all right there. Um, half inch barbs on the top here, and uh, a copper plate on the bottom there. Um, obviously, going to be pretty good for if you're going to stick it in a case on a water cooling setup. It's going to do quite well with that. Second option we've got here is a little pot, uh, Foxconn branded pot. It's aluminium, I think. Um, that sits on top of the on top of the chipset there and uh, allows us to use dry ice or liquid nitrogen to cool the motherboard uh, and the chipset down to sub-zero temperatures which will help with the overclocking we hope. Um, going to test that at some point so uh, look out for the, the review and see if that makes a difference. Definitely what we're interested in though. Here's a motherboard. I hope that's not reflecting off the light too much. Um, looking very very nice I'm sure you'll agree. Um, I do like red as a colour and uh, I think this is one of the best looking motherboards I've seen. So uh, there we go. Let's have a look at it. Hopefully these, this uh, video will be alright but the, there's some high quality photos going to go up on Bench Tech. So if you can't see anything have a look at those. I'm sure they'll, they'll cover everything. What we've got here then. Um, triple channel DDR3 RAM. This will support up to 12 gigabytes of, of DDR3 memory. I'm going to be using three 1 gig sticks here though, so I only need three gig of, of memory on that one. We've got the uh, the 14 phase uh, hybrid PWM circuitry here for the power regulation uh, that, that goes to the, the CPU. Um, that's uh, something that Fox kind of highlighting quite well. Um, I think it does a pretty good job, but we'll find out on that one as well. We've got the uh, uh, what's called, not, not actually called the Northbridge anymore, it's called the IOH, the Input Output Hub, uh, which will be a bit tricky for some people to get their head around. Um, that has got a, a, I think I'm right in saying a, a two-phase uh, power supply to it, and the uh, DDR3 RAM has a three-phase power supply, I think as we can see here. Uh, that's all meant to help with the overclocking and the power regulation, so um, fingers crossed it does on that one. Moving on down, we've got the PCI Express slots here, four of them. Two, six, um, two PCI Express 2 16 times slots and two PCI Express 2 8 times slots. That's the red and the black respectively in that in that case. Allows for um, SLI with two cards, with three cards, although you, you've only got the one slot for one of them. Um, or quad SLI with say some uh, dual GPU cards like a, a 9800GX2 or a, the brand new GTX 295. Um, Four slots for your Crossfire or Crossfire X configurations, maybe four 4850s, um, or you've got your standard Crossfire two cards with uh, maybe 4870X2s or something like that. 
Single PCI slot, maybe for a sound card. Single PCI Express one time slot, maybe for a, 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 a wireless card or something like that. And you've got a little header here that, uh, that corresponds to the, um, the sound card that they bundle with the board. Um, let's just go back and have a look at the I.O. panel. Got 8 times USB ports there, 2 gigabit Ethernet ports, Firewire, 2 e serial ATA, digital um, audio connector, clear, clear CMOS, so that's for if, uh, if things go wrong with the overclocking you need to reset it all, uh, and a, obviously a bog standard PS2 connection there. Moving on round, floppy drive connector, uh, there's your Firewire, 2 USB, and these are two slightly special ones on here, I think it's a feature of the um, the X58 and the uh, ICH10R uh, chipsets, but uh, these are SAS uh, SAS um, ports here for serial um, uh, serial SCSI drives. Um, if you've got them, you'll be making use of them, I'm sure, because it's really good. But uh, I don't think many people will. Um, quite quite expensive those those hard drives. Moving on round, six serial ATA ports, more than enough for me. Uh, we've got your yeah, IDE header, which I won't be using, but some people will. Um, two switches here, one for power, one for reset. You've got your LED um, uh, display here to find out what's going wrong if it fails on the overclocking. and uh, just tell, tells you a bit about what's going on at the boot. Um, here you've got two BIOS chips, which basically allows you to flash two BIOSes at any one time to the, to the motherboard. And you've got a jumper here. Uh, which is a little blue plastic thing that you can move to a, a, one of the other pins which will select one or other of the jumpers um, one or other of the, the BIOS is there really handy uh, and good for testing more than one BIOS if you need to which I probably will be doing power connector as normal um, I think that pretty much concludes the the tour yep I think I've, I think I've said everything a little quick look at the back you've got the, uh, the metal uh, retaining plates at the back there to make sure all the, the heat sinks um, are fixed nice and firmly and they're, they're all screws so uh, you've got confidence that they're, they're stuck down well it's going to good, lead to good, good heat transfer uh, there's, there's the board, I'll put that one down and uh, show you the accessories package that comes with this not, uh, not hugely exciting got standard uh, IDE cables, power cables, back plate um, there's your little fan uh, that you can stick on the uh, on the on the chipset on the heat heat sink assembly. Um, that'll turn it into a, a passive cooling system. So to to list the four the four types of system you've got, you've got standard passive, you've got your active cooling, uh, you've then got the water and the um, the extreme cooling that we looked at earlier. A couple more standard uh, cables, driver CD, manual and a, a hard uh, SLI bridge there uh, which will, will cross for, for your two, two, two SLI cards um, it does do crossfire as well as I said but they don't, they don't put a bridge in there here's the, uh, the sound card the uh, Creative Sonar x -Fi. Um very good for them to have bundled this with there uh, that's obviously going to help if you, uh, if you block all your um, PCI ports or uh, PCI Express ports with your graphics cards so you've still got sound on there I think that, uh, that concludes our look at the Foxconn Blood Rage. Let's get it back and have a, one final look at it. Any questions, pop on the forums, give us a, give us a message and we'll do our best to answer it. Um, there you go then guys, so yeah, hop over to Benchtech and uh, we'll show you some more. There's plenty more reviews on there um, and uh, let us know. Great, thanks a lot then guys, see ya.